Welcome back to Big Burst TV. And on this episode, I'm gonna provide a little bit of an update on the tank. Uh, here's a picture how it looks a day later. Uh, if you didn't see the previous video, uh, when I installed all the, <laughs> I keep saying installing, when I uh, installed all the plants uh, in the tank, uh, unboxed them, unwrapped them, and then installed them in the tank. Um, I, I just realized I left off a huge chunk of the video. Well, a little chunk where I was showing these uh, tools. And I said that I would show it later, um, this tool kit that I ordered. And I'll, I'll include that in this video, a little bit of it. But it's just some aquatic tools, a five-in-one tool kit that I got on Amazon. I'll leave a link to that. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I'll, I'll, I'll link things that I've used and I like. And of course, I bought it with my own money. And this is after I also, um, added in I got a little hanger little screws and whatever inside my tank I added in some of this Fritzzyme uh, live nitrifying bacteria to try to get the you know the nitrogen cycle jump started and I kept saying ammonia and nitrate and leaving off the fact that it says naturally removes ammonia and nitrate so just to clarify this stuff does not jumpstart your the nitrogen cycle on your tank and start you know cycling your tank by adding ammonia and nitrate but it it's the nitrifying bacteria that removes ammonia and nitrate so naturally you're going to need to have some ammonia and nitrate in your tank uh you need a, to the addition of ammonia and then i'm just panning to show some of these plants in here and how i have it set up so far uh, yeah, it's looking really nice. I'm really liking the way that's looking. I may raise the water level a little bit. And these lights, that's just the LED light strip that I got, I had over my fish tank. Um, it's for viewing, it has three modes and it also has a timer. So uh, initially I'm gonna set this thing to like 12 hours. You can do four, then 12, then eight hours. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that. But the reason why I'm in this area is because I haven't gone in and uh, remove the, the sand that's, you know, just accumulated on the wood and on some of the plants. I was looking for my turkey baster, but I think I might have tossed it, so I'll have to find something else. I could just put my hand in there, squish it around or whatever. But back to the nitrogen cycle. So the tank has cleared up a lot. I added that, uh, that Fritzzyme and it's kind of brown in color. They said it's going to smell earthy, which it does. And when I put the plants in it, immediately when I took them out of the packages, it smelled like life, you know, it smelled earthy like life. And then adding the nitrifying bacteria and what have you. And that filter is just, you know, filtering out some suspended particles or whatever in the water column. But my wife was mentioning that it looks like it's going to be a dead spot in this area. Uh, you know, once some fish get in there, move around. I, I have another one of these uh, Whisper 40 eyes that I used to have in this corner. So I may add that. I'm not sure yet. I don't think the plants need too much water movement. But anyway, I did it again. Back to the nitrogen cycle. So you need to have some ammonia. So what I did was I had some of these fish flakes and I just started feeding the tank. A little bit you know a couple of pinches of this crushed up in between my fingers so that you know there will be something and then i added a little something else i won't say what that is at this point but eventually i will and so what i'm gonna do is using my api freshwater master test kit i'm gonna see if uh that fish food and whatever was in there uh on the plants or not on the substrate because that was new and the rocks were scrubbed and bleached before i put them in like two weeks before they they were allowed to they were rinsed and allowed to dry so you know you don't have to worry about that but um you know with the addition of these bamboos shoots and the wood that i found outside which was also just rinsed with water and scrubbed with a brush no soap or detergent or anything like that um, there is a little bit of slime growing. I don't know if you can see the fuzz on that branch, but when I touched it, it felt kind of slimy. So let's see. Um, let's test using the API Freshwater Master Test Kit. 
test for ammonia and if we get any ammonia then we'll test for nitrite and we'll see if we get that uh nitrogen cycle going so um hang on for that okay so with this api freshwater master test kit um i really like these when i was doing my reef tanks i had the the salt water marine master test kit and that was absolutely necessary in addition to some other test kits because you want to know this thing is really dusty <laughs> i haven't uh let me grab my trusty big bridge tv green <laughs> microfiber but um yeah I, you can see i haven't used this thing in a while you don't have to use it all the time but if you have a tank with anything alive or live in it you want to be able to know what what your water tests at what you want to know what your water parameters are so i will be using this and what you want to do it comes with tests for ph high range ph ammonia nitrite and nitrate and so this is says fast easy and accurate it is once you get the hang of doing this um i find this really accurate and easy to do but it comes in several languages and so what we want to do we want to get a clean test vial right this one i have just rinsed it out cleaned it make sure it's clean and then we want to get some water let me take you over to the source of the water i'm gonna try to do this with one hand so usually that's the way i do it and i'm not filming so take the test tube i'm gonna sit the cap up here um and you want to rinse it out in the tank water or whatever water you're going to be testing so i i'd like to just go from the stream here see if i can film this correctly just rinse it in this water don't let your fingers touch the water that's going in the valve and doing it this way you could kind of try to get it up to that water line there so let's see uh Wow, that's pretty bang on. Look at that. Okay, so now that we have that, we want to grab the cap <laughs> one-handedly and get the solution. So now we have our test subject, the water from the tank, and we have the cap. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look for ammonia. You have ammonia test solution, bottle one says there at eight drops so what i like to do is just shake it up a little bit and with one hand these these tops you have to push down it's almost like a medicine bottle you have to push them down and unscrew it but it gets pretty easy and then what you want to do is invert the bottle um, uh, exactly upside down so let me well i'll just do it like this at eight drops so upside down and one, two, three, four. Let me angle the camera so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Hang on. Okay, so we got four drops in. I'm gonna add four more. So five, six, seven, eight. All right, and put the cap back on that. Then what you want to do is for this one you don't have to uh shake the the test tube when, once you drop the eight drops in um before you add the second solution just double check i just looked at the, it's been a while since i did this so here is bo solution bottle number two and you want to add eight drops of this so i like to just shake it up a bit this one that one was a little thicker. This solution is a little thin. And it's the same thing. You just push down on the top. See, because if you just spin it, it will ratchet. And obviously, I was push it down. <laughs> it opened. And you want to add eight drops of this. Well, watch this one come out a little easier. So you want to be more careful with this. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight ah 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 <laughs> and you put the cap back on that now what you want to do is cap the test tube and you want to shake vigorously for five seconds so one two three four 
five and now you want to let that sit for five minutes so using my trusty Seiko SSB 409 we're gonna time it starting now so that's gonna sit for five minutes what we're gonna do is come back and if it changes color we're gonna look at this chart that's on the back of the booklet with the instructions we're going to match up what we get in here as of right now it's yellow i find that if you hold it away from the white area you can get the color better sometimes when you put it up right up against it the color will change so that's looking green right now but if you hold it up actually it's turning green that's a good sign i'm really happy about that right now so Let's give that five minutes. And while we're doing that, let's do a pH test kit. So, or a pH test. So this comes with um, high range and low range pH. So this is pH test, regular pH. And then there's the, let's see, high range. So if when you test your pH, the, let me try to fix this. When you're testing your pH of your water and the pH goes above 7.6. So if you're getting a color somewhere not quite this blue, but somewhere more in the brown range or orange range, then you can switch over to the high range pH test kit and see if your results fall in this area. And so with this test, um, it's pretty immediate. So let's go get some more water in another clean test tube and uh, test that. Be right back. So we got our sample of water from the tank. I just showed how to do that right up to the 5 ml line. Okay, and now we want to add three drops of this, the regular pH test solution. I'm getting shadow, so maybe I should just do it this way. You want to add three drops of this. So again, I shake it up a little bit uncap it and one two three oh i almost went more <laughs> you got to be careful because you can waste this i mean i've tested using this kit a while it tells you how many tests you get but it says immediately cap it the tube and then invert it so you don't want to shake this one vigorously you want to just do like this invert it several times and then once you do that you can compare it to the meter on the back of the thing. So pH, let's see. So what I'm getting here is, it's looking like, what would you say that is? 6.8, right? So it looks about 6.8. So a neutral pH would be seven. So 6.8 is close to seven close to neutral I mean it might even be seven uh, I don't know I mean, let's see I don't know I'll check that and get back to it but pH is not as critical as uh, ammonia is for this <laughs> exercise so uh, let's check our timer and it looks like we have four minutes so far so when this orange second hand reaches the 12 that'll be exactly five minutes i have to just embrace the fact that i'm becoming an old man i had to go get my trusty readers many times when i'm uh filming i, I can't see anything and then uh when i look back at the film when i'm editing it uh i can see i was totally off base so right now okay so that's looking green to me. So first indication is letting me know that there's some ammonia in the tank. Like I said, I fed it a little bit with some flake food and a little bit of something else, but that was yesterday. And the results, I don't know. That's looking like one part per million, right? One part per million. So that's a good sign. The tank has begun cycling. It's got ammonia in there, but really the nitrogen cycle really starts once that nitrifying bacteria starts converting that 
ammonia into nitrite. So let's just do a quick nitrite test and see what we get. So I'm gonna get another clean test too. This kit comes with four. I'm gonna go get some water, be right back. Okay, so I got about five mLs of water. Uh, that was our ammonia test. This is our pH test. And now we're gonna do the nitrite test. So, let's see, nitrite. Solution number two. Nitrate. Nitrate, nitrate, okay. So, wait a minute. Nitrate number two test solution. Uh, <laughs> let me check on this. I know I don't have an extra bottle, so let me see something. Do, 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 Okay. Yeah, um, there is only one bottle. There's some other gymnastics that you would need to use the other bottle for um, if you're using it for a different type of water but uh, for aquarium slash pond water or whatever you only need to f add five drops of this so let's get that shaken up and by the way I, I just read the instructions so I'm revisiting this whole thing and see how that just wants to spin but if you push it down it'll then come open and this stuff is blue so let's invert it completely and one two three four five five drops and then what i'm gonna do is cap it and let me make sure i'm doing this right directions for a clean tool five drops Cap the test and shake for five seconds. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And now we need to wait another five minutes for the test, the color to develop. And for this, I've set the timer on my Patty Smurf. <laughs> it's Smurf Blue, but in this case, it's uh, Aquarium Nitrite Blue. Um, and I've set the timer to five minutes. So uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, let me roll that footage about these tools. Get to that. But first, let's get to my tools since I'll probably be up. Oh, I just got this huge 50 pound pack of microfibers. <laughs> so let me open this in a responsible way so that I can clean up some of this water. open and of course I'm gonna go for the Big Brist TV green <laughs> I love these things and uh, get some of this water cleaned up and let's open this guy up real quick nice pouch hi Oh, I've seen these little scrapers in action. It doesn't appear to be sharp. It's not sharp. It's a blunt edge. I, I suppose it's supposed to be a blunt edge. Um, you can move stuff around with this. It has two edges, double sided. So it has this narrow side and then the wide edge. I'd say that's about three inches. Okay. And then, what's next? Aha! Some forceps! <laughs> the curved tweezers. It's got a nice little band on it. Let's get that band off. Let's see. Okay. These uh, should come in handy. Pot plotting, potting some of these uh, plants. And then, uh, we got... Uh, straight tweezers. Okay. Okay, I like this black straight tweezers, or you could use them as chopsticks <laughs> to eat. This it just looks like yes, <laughs> it's a bowl of salad, and I could just just pick some up and just oh, this is 
What is this? This is, uh, this looks like scallions. Let's just have some scallions, you know? Some green onion. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to this. These plants are waiting. It's nice and warm here today in New York City. It's in the 80s. So, ooh, some curved scissors. I could use these on my Lexan bodies <laughs> when, when I'm trimming out the car bodies from my RC cars. I just purchased the set as a matter of, oh yeah, those are coming tomorrow. But these are, are a nice length. I, I don't plan to have my water too deep, so. Um, I have to check, the, I bought my son. Oh, and here's the cloth. It's a nice cloth. It's, you know, not as nice as the Big Brist TV green microfibers, but uh, uh, see, they're strong. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let me get this stuff put away or leave it here and just get to uh, draining out that tank, and I'll be back in a shortly. So we're back. It's been just about five minutes, and let's see. Here's our test specimen, and. Holding it up to the panel, there is no nitrite. So, um, let's see if I hold it this way. Yeah, it's blue. That's really pale blue. So, yeah, it's coming out a little bit different from on, on my camera, but I can see right here with my eyes, the best camera, um, that it's blue. So, no trace of nitrite yet. So that means the nitrifying bacteria hasn't yet started to consume that ammonia. The ammonia is at a good level so far. I mean, if it was eight, it would be really good, but I'm good with one part per million at this point. Um, once I start seeing a result on the nitrite section, I can feed the tank a little more, and then hopefully we'll get over to the nitrate section. And when we get into the nitrate column, the and we get back over here to the ammonia test and the ammonia test zero or close to zero, um, the nitrogen cycle will be complete. When we have zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and we have nitrate, a nitrate reading, and the nitrogen cycle will be complete. And obviously uh, the plants like to consume nitrate. They will consume some of this other stuff, but mostly you wanna be in this area Build up, build ups of, of any of these can be harmful for fish and other living organisms, especially since I want to have some shrimp in the tank. But we want to make sure that uh, we keep our, once the nitrogen cycle is complete, we keep our nitrates as low as possible. And so let me take you back over to the tank and let's wrap this up. So we're back over to the tank. It's looking pretty good, you know. I have some really high hopes for this. Um, judging from, you know, my experience with my different tanks in the past, if you haven't seen the previous video, I gave a little, uh, glimpse into some of the different tanks that I've had from, you know, a frog set up to, uh, a community fish set up to African cichlids to my reef tank, one of my reef tanks. I have several reef tanks, but that was one of pictures of one of my reef tanks that I could find. Um, and hopefully you saw that video of me. A short video of me drilling the tank. People, you know, that was back when YouTube first started, and people. I think the guy that was with me, my good buddy, Doctor Gonzo, he that was his name on the forums, uh, the fish forums um, for Manhattan Reefs, I think it was. Uh, people couldn't believe I was going to drill a tank with live fish and coral in it, but it didn't harm the fish or anything like that. It might have scared them a bit, but in the end, it turned out great because I was able to put a sump under the tank. And um, that made for a really good um, coral setup. But I'm just gonna pan to some of the plants that I've planted in here and show you. Let's see. So back there, got that. This is the four leaf clover. Got this guy. Cardinal plant. I said I was gonna break it up. I don't think I break, broke it up. Got another guy back there. This guy right here. I think that's the. Um, we have the pennywort. Pennywort here in the middle. 
some duckweed up there. So we got some java moss. You can see the sewing string that I have. I gotta clip it off. The tank was a little bit too cloudy for me to see all of it, but got some up there. Got some down there at the base of that tree. Got some there in the rocks. Gotta get that sand off. Got some more of this guy. That guy. This guy. More java moss. There's some stuff messing. I didn't know how this water bubbling and coming down was gonna possibly affect the plants. Then over here, tucked in the back, I have some more of that four leaf clover. And so, yeah. Um, ooh, and look. There's a snail. And there's another one. So they're moving around the tank. And uh, I don't know, oh, that's a piece of wood. That's a little, oh, wait, I'm not showing it. That's a piece of wood. A little piece of wood that broke off of this tree stick thing right here. You can see me breaking that off by accident. Ooh, look! Another little snail. Gary! <laughs> he's, look, he's in the... I'm not even showing that right. Let me see. Looking at it and not filming it right. Let's see if I can get it. He's in that little stream that's shooting up from the back of the... So, wow. Let me see. One... Two, three little hitchhikers. That's great. I think Modern Aquarium hooked me up. But um, yeah, that's a view of the tank. And I uh, hope you guys stick with me. If you're not already subscribed, please do so so you can see the tank grow. I'll go to some of my local uh, fish stores, local pet shops and see there's still a couple of mom and pop sh type shops here in manhattan but not many a lot of them you know COVID wiped them out whatever but there's not a lot left but i'm gonna go to a few um and see if i can source some more plants and put in here you know and hopefully you know we'll get this thing looking lush and delish <laughs> so we can have that salad <laughs> anyway this is big bris Big Burst TV. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps. And feel free to subscribe, share, comment. Do whatever you want to do. And I'll catch you on the next one. Big Burst out.